Welcome to my channel and welcome to Looking Back, Reflections on 2019. Today we are filming on the ground because it's cozy and I like the ground. I actually saw some girl recently, she was calling herself a ground dweller and I love that. I'm like, yes! I just always gravitate towards sitting on the floor. Anyways, so we're ground dwelling today. Today we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions, or as I like to call them, goals for the year. The reason I like to distinguish between New Year's resolution and goals is because I feel like resolution is like this thing that you have to do the whole year and it's just one thing and it's stagnant and it doesn't allow for flexibility. Whereas a goal allows for more flexibility, if your goal is to have better health, then maybe your maybe that's your overall goal but maybe you, what you really need is is at least one or maybe even a set of goals that's going to help you get there so that's kind of why I I, I prefer to look at I prefer to look at it more as goal setting the beginning of the year is a great chance to kind of look at your life and let go of whatever you don't want and move forward it was just a couple of years ago that I just felt the inspiration, the spark to go ahead and make some goals and it was something about the energy of that year that I really just wanted to pour myself into kind of like make pour myself into making new goals and really like organizing my life and being it's really about being intentional with your life. And so that's what I wanted to do and I discovered that the word resolution doesn't really fit with me because I'm not resolving to always do one thing, like I'm not resolving to always have a smoothie. It's a goal that I'm setting to do the smoothie every day and the difference is if you resolve to do it for the rest of the year, it's basically saying, you know, if you messed up once, like your resolution <laughs> has been messed up and you can't really retrieve that. Your, your resolve to eat a smoothie every day is now non-existent and so you messed up and there's no like go, turning back the year. When you create a goal, it's more like you're setting the intention, like my goal is to do this and even if I don't get every single day, if I don't drink that smoothie every single day, I still can move forward and see how many more days I can get. And and that again and that's the other thing about goals is they can change. Like if at some point I'm kind of bored with a smoothie, I can be like, you know what? I'm gonna change smoothie to an acai bowl because it's just as healthy and I'm getting tired of smoothies, so let's just switch it up. And still feel good that you're following some sort of path, um, s some sort of goal, you know, and it's not over the second that you mess up once. Three tools that I used last year that helped me to reflect back on that year were pictures, Google photos, my journals that I kept, and keep notes. So we'll start with journals. I filled three journals last year and I, I just love journaling. I feel like it's not only a way to kind of document the things that have happened in my life, but also to sort of be able to look back on the year and be like, oh yeah, we did do that trip, or I went here or there, whatever it is. But also journaling just helps me work through my thoughts and ideas, and it just, it really helps me gain clarity. So I love journaling for that reason. And it was kind of cool to see that I, I had three different journals this year and kind of just read through them and, and see what my life has really been this year. Kind of gave me a, a fuller picture of it. Next, Google Photos, obviously or even Instagram that you can kind of just scroll through and start and start at January and just kind of look back and see all the trips that you've taken and the things that you've done, the people that you've met or the people that you've got to visit or the places that you got to visit. And it's just really, I mean, I, I just love pictures. So just going on there is, is um, just a nice way to kind of reminisce about all the different journeys that you've had throughout the year. And then lastly is Keep Notes. Keep Notes is an app that you basically can keep multiple lists. And I just absolutely love it because 
I'm such a list maker and it has like made going to the grocery store way easier. So I was that person in the grocery store that had like the paper list and was like crossing it off as I go, <laughs> like, oh, get the bananas and cross it off, do do do, like, and it was just felt like so extra. So not that I want to be the person on my phone, but now I just, I have my phone and it's easy, it's easy like, you can create check boxes next to your list. And so you can just like check it off as you get the item. And there's no like getting your pen and crossing it off. It's just doop and it's moved to the, there's like a line. So it's like your list and then it moves it to the bottom. So I have absolutely loved Keep Notes and recommend it for any and all list makers. <laughs> it's amazing. So one of the things that I was able to reflect on didn't reflect on grocery lists. I reflected on my book list. So I had a list of books that I wanted to read for 2019. And even as somebody would tell me about a new book, I'd add it on there. So it was this very flexible, fluid, <laughs> flowing list that was like, that I was constantly adding to. And again, like I said, like if the list was up here, as I would read a book, it would check it and bring it down below this line. And so you can see all of the books are sort of like in a faded font with a with the cross out and you can see all the books that you've read. So I I was kind of pleasantly surprised to find that I had actually read 21 books without even realizing I had done so. I love reading and probably to like crazy crazy fast readers. I well I do a balance of like fiction and nonfiction and so with nonfiction I'm taking time and thinking about the different things that I'm learning, like I'm a slow, slow processor, <laughs> slow processor right here. I felt like without being intentional about a book list, um, that was a really great way to find out that I had read 21 books. Probably don't even need to say it, that I'm definitely keeping the Keep Notes app for 2020. It's a definite must. Because I haven't been working this past year, I kind of felt like, oh, I haven't really accomplished a lot. I haven't done a lot with my life. Um, and I was kind of feeling bad, but really when I looked at my keep notes and my journals and my Google photos, I realized I had done a lot last year and that was a very good feeling. So if you're thinking about doing New Year's goals or resolutions, if you want to call them that, I really encourage you to keep a journal or to keep track somewhere because you might keep feeling like, oh, I messed up, I messed up. But then you might look back and realize, oh, I was, I didn't like in the grand scheme of things, I didn't really mess up that much. When you realize that, it can really push you forward and actually motivate you in ways that you didn't think were possible. So what did I accomplish last year? I started a small group. I began volunteering at a hospital holding the infants in the special care nurseries and the NICU. I visited family in Florida. I went back to California to visit a few times. Uh, I went to the Atlanta Botanical Garden. So beautiful, by the way. I did two separate cleanses, one at the beginning of the year and one in the middle. I went to a fee conference for economics. I went to a Toby Keith concert. I went to an Illuminate festival and tried Reiki for the first time, as well as found out what, <laughs> what purse bingo is. I visited my sister in New York. We saw the waitress. My husband and I both got new cars. And because we recently moved, we also got a new doctor, dentist, hairstylist, chiropractor. I think that's it. <laughs> we also completed a process for the meditation path that I'm on, which was huge. I hosted numerous family and friends in the new space that my husband and I are in, and I have never really hosted. I did a couple times at the end of when I lived in California, and that was like new to me, but being out here in South Carolina, we have hosted tons of people in this past year. It's like been ridiculous. So that's been a whole new world of hosting. Like hosting, like hosting is very different than like just going to somebody's house and being, you know, part of the part of the mix. I finally purchased a juicer, which I love having. I used to use the Nutribullet to do my celery juice, and I am so grateful I have moved on from that. I had the most magical night at Brook Green Gardens. 
they had this night called Night of a Thousand Candles, and it was during Christmas, and it was so, so beautiful. My husband took me there for my birthday, so good job, hubby. And I also got to see my family in Michigan for Christmas, which was just so huge. It's so great to go back and see all my nieces and nephews, my sisters and brothers, and my parents. It's, it was just a really good time. And looking back on these lists, you can kind of see, or feel rather, like I feel that sense of joy of all of these amazing things that I got to experience. And this isn't even the full list. And of course, <laughs> this is the positive list, right? There's definitely some hardship and things that didn't go right <laughs> but just looking back you want to gain a sense of accomplishment of impact like to empower yourself to move forward so I think it's really important to look back on the previous year and I'm I'm grateful that I did take the time to do that this year so that's it for looking back on 2019 and I hope that kind of gives you a sense of why I think it's important to be able to look back and reflect and some tools that can help you on your own journey going forward in this new year that will help you to be able to look back on this this year that we're in 2020 and really see all that you've accomplished and all the awesome things that you've got to do and the people that you've got to meet so stay tuned for the second part of this which will be looking forward bye